What has the last two weeks done for your group, just in the sense of building some confidence, especially guys at the top like Keyshawn and Ontario? Um, <clears throat> I think uh, Keyshawn, for Keyshawn, I think he's kind of taking ownership and more of a role of uh, setting the standard uh, when it comes to um, just the, the fundamentals and the technique and practice, and focusing on the little things and not worrying about what you can't control. And um, I think that's that's really you know helped a lot of the other guys and the young guys to stay locked in to the details and assignments um, and finishing plays. And um, I think that's that's been the, the, the difference. Just seeing a guy like him work uh, day in and day out, and um, not complain about anything, just just going out and doing his job. And the other guys are seeing that. Young guys are seeing that. And I, I think it's, it's, it's contagious, and, and the other guys are feeling the same. Coach Billingham talked more about maybe the uh, frustration over the, the work being in, not showing up on Saturday. Kind of the results not matching the work that, that's going in. I guess how big do you think Saturday was for kind of flipping that? Uh, really big. <laughs> I mean, guys got, you know, they you know got a chance to catch the football and, you know, make some plays down the field. Um, not only that, do a good job, you know, on the perimeter, um, you know, in the run game. You know, they did a good job of fitting up and uh, finishing blocks. Like I said, getting an opportunity to make some plays down the field. And, um, and I thought that was really big for those guys and, and it was help, helping build the confidence, you know, seeing the results from, you know, from the hard work that they, they put in the past couple of weeks. For a true freshman, how good is Malik McLean at doing that, throwing their blocking and getting up the field and taking on safeties? He, he's done a really good job um, as far as knowing who to block. Um, fitting up on guys, you know, still some technical stuff that we got to work on, you know, having tight hands, getting his hands inside, uh, restarting his feet, you know, but I, you know, he, for us, he was a downfield blocker of the week, you know, so he, he's done a good job with that. Um, and he's taking ownership in it. You know, he knows, you know, if you don't block, you don't play, you know, and um, he wants his game to be, you know, not just, you know, one dimensional guy, you know, he, he wants to be a, you know, all around wide receiver, you know, and, and he's starting to show that. The leadership you're talking about from Keyshawn, how important is it? This isn't a group that's got a lot of upperclassmen. Right. A bunch of guys have moved on for different reasons. Mm -hmm. You don't have a lot of older guys. Right. So how important is that? Uh, I think it's been uh, very important, you know, because, you know, just as a, a former player, you know, you needed that, that leadership from older guys. You know, had E.G. Green and Andre Cooper that was here, Wayne Messam, those guys. And, um, you know, that, that was a, a plus and a bonus for me have you know those type of guys to, to lead and I feel like you know Keyshawn you know not only does he talk about it but he goes out and he shows it as well and you know I just told him that was very important for other guys to see him no matter if you you feel like it or you don't feel like it you know you set, set a standard you set the bar on how things should go you know when it comes to uh, the operation the, the daily routine and how you work and how you lead uh, a group and um, he's taking ownership in it, and I think it's really big for the younger guys to see it because when I meet with these guys uh, weekly you know, all those guys bring up Keyshawn when they come in and we meet one on one. You know, it's amazing how they, they everybody brings up Keyshawn. You know, in, in the meeting that we have together one on one, and um, I think that speaks volumes for Keyshawn. How do you guys communicate your parchment in terms of expectations? I guess not. Yeah, it's just you know, just a, a daily or weekly when I meet with uh, AP. Um, you know, just the expectations of, of him is just you know being a detailed football player. You know, finishing plays. You know, and there's a standard, you know, that, that we live by, you know. So every week, you know, we, we sit down and we talk about, hey, this is what you need to focus on this week. You know, if you want the opportunity to contribute to the team. And, um, you know, I, I think just weekly, just, you know, continue to communicate with him and, and helping him grow. You know, it's, it's, been, it's been a slow process, but he's coming along. Is that something that he can, uh, at the halfway point of the season, urgency be more on him? Do you think he'll maybe embrace the messaging more? Is it an opportunity for him now to, to really make an impact in the game? Yeah, well, you know, if you've seen other guys going out there making plays, you know, that should light a fire up under you. You know, and wanting to go out and do the same thing to help the ball club, you know, so um, I, I think it has. You know, we'll, we'll see, you know, the rest of the week and next week. Does having Jordan Travis in the huddle consistently mm -hmm. the last two weeks mm -hmm. affect your, your second um, I, I wouldn't say that, it, you know, it, it affects the, the segment group because, you know, we always talk about, you know, the details and spacing on concepts, you know, all those different things that we got to do as receivers to make sure we're on the same page with the quarterback, you know, so for us, it's, it's you know, whether it's Milton, 
or, or Travis, you know, it doesn't matter who it is back there. We just want to make sure we're spaced up for the for the uh, for the QB, you know, and, and not leave those guys out to dry, you know. So we always talk about the the little things, you know, the spacing and the blocking and even on motions, you know, where we're supposed to be. Um, and I, I think that's been really big for us, uh, just paying attention to the details, and I, it helps out the quarterbacks knowing that we're going to be where we need to be, and not only within the concepts but on scramble drills. Um, and like Keyshawn had a big scramble drill. Uh, for a third down completion in the game as well, you know, so that, that's been big for us to no matter who it is We're going to communicate, you know with, with those guys and make sure we're on the right on the same page I, noticed, um, I don't know if he's traveled before but uh, Parker traveled. Is he getting closer to where he might be able to help you guys out? At some point? Parker's growing, you know a lot, you know, I told him to you know to be able to contribute to the team It starts with special teams um, But the kid has done an unbelievable job, you know, he's, he's been really patient You know, he kind of during the game kind of came and leaned on my shoulder it's like coach's time, and I'm like, get your hand off my shoulder, <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know, but um, he, he's been patient. I, I like the the progress he's been making this 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 year, and um, uh, the kid, he's he's got an opportunity to do some good things at Florida State. He's a confident kid. Yes, sir. Is it hard to judge a walk on like during practice? Can, can you tell if a walk on is someone that you guys can maybe depend on in the game situation? Well, I mean, just early on when you get a walk on, you can tell by his movement. You know, the, the change of direction, you know, ball skills, you know, those different things. And then you, you, you look at, you know, how well does the guy study? Does he take mental reps when he's not going? You know, so you put those guys in those, those situations that you know he didn't get the reps. You know, he didn't get the reps to walk through. But let me throw him out there to see if he was paying attention. You know, and Parker's been one of those guys that's been paying attention.